Hey guys, welcome back again. Another comparison video. Just want to show you guys here uh, how the OnePlus 3 and the Nexus 6. And this one is this comparison is not mainly just deciding factor whether you should be really going with the Nexus 6 or OnePlus 3. There is another reason why I am trying to do this comparison. The reason is that guys, uh, the OnePlus 3 has equipped with the latest uh, Snapdragon processor 820 processor which is a cryo based processor so if you guys are not aware of this cryo create or cortex so just a quick highlight uh, cortex is a standard that arm designs and anyone can use that and create was a uh, uh, earlier technology that the nexus 6 has which is exclusively designed by the company standards and that means they can adjust the clock speed and whatever is there so mostly this is their dual core and quad core not the octa core and the cryo is the advanced form of the create processor so, that that make me you know guys just to think of again how the uh, since both is great and the cryo this is a newer generation and this is older generation great so how does they uh, compete each other in terms of day-to-day -day performance so already i have shown you a uh, performance difference between the nexus 6p and the oneplus 3 so this video i'm not going to cover any of the other aspects apart from that's like uh, which is better in this phone which is better in that phone just want to show you guys the comparison like the boot time and app launching time the benchmark text result and the video play playback uh, shut down a lot of times here resuming and multitasking many things we will do here so both devices are in the power of conditions guys i'm just going to turn them on so let me just quickly turn them on together so powering on in three two one you can see uh, this really boots very faster since i got more number of rams and all so that's pretty obvious because nexus 6 takes time to boot and load things here still booting up and yeah, guys in case you have missed to watch all the camera comparison and stuff like uh, how the oneplus is a camera and all so 4k video slow motion videos upload i think every most of the things the only one thing is happening here is just to uh, show you guys here uh the deep review so i'm just working on that one i just still noting out some few of the points here because i'm going to do an honest review that can decide already and you can get this wallpaper from my facebook page and go to the album section check that out there and you can download it from there so we will begin with our uh, you know initially app launching time and say launching twitter in three two one see nexus 6 loads faster and coming to the feedly launching feedly in three two one so since this is a dark theme that's why it's showing dark theme but anyway this is loaded up so pretty much almost uh, they take same time uh, slightly faster in the one plus three so no issues on that one now you can see guys the display uh, both are set to the same level of display and they both have AMOLED panels so brightness is almost set to the same here and still you can see which one performs better in the terms of AMOLED panel so I will move to Instagram so launching Instagram in 3, 2, 1 so this one loads faster so this is just the morning shot I just took with the OnePlus 3 so make sure to follow me on Instagram to for on the behind the scenes stuff and that I used to post occasionally uh, not in terms of video just in terms of images here so uh, one plus three wins, wins here uh, clearly moving to the next app we'll launch a chrome beta so launching chrome beta in three two one next one plus three clearly takes a bit of time to load so this is a asus genuine file manager so launching a file manager in three two one they launch the same time but this loads the result faster and actually i made this uh, you know to look a cooler side uh, the one plus three has this option and this is by default what you get here that's why there is a difference in the computer white and this is some slightly yellowish text here we we'll launch the next app and this one is uh play store so launching play store in three two one you can see slows the result faster we'll move to the next app we'll launch the camera app and see which will launch faster launching camera in three two one Pretty much same, no difference at all. And we'll launch a YouTube app here, launching YouTube in three, two, one. Shows result first year, one plus three. It's pretty much tie up condition right now. Uh, both have own advantage. So, low back to back reader. So, launching arrow back to back reader in three, two, one. One plus three wins here. We launch a chrome app chrome beta we have tried and so launching chrome in three two 
वन प्रेडी मच सेम ऑलमोस्ट सेम क्वेश्चन का इस इन केस यू एड हो दैट वन प्लस थ्री एस सिक्स गेबाइट्स ऑफ रैम बट स्टिल इट्स नॉट यूजिंग अ सिक्स गेबाइट्स ऑफ रैम सो चेक दैट इमेज हियर So this is what according to the uh, one plus CEO, uh, this phone is limited to use lesser RAM just to increase uh, a battery performance, a better user experience. So don't keep in mind that you will get the six gigabytes of RAM. So you will obviously get only uh, four, I guess, max, not max, and that. We launch Google Mail. Let's see, launching Gmail in three, two, one. One plus three. I've tried many apps, guys, and let's launch some of the Microsoft-based apps. So Skype here, launching Skype in three, two, one. So takes bit of time here, lot of time. One plus three is winner here. Launching Google Drive here in three, two, one. Shows a little faster. One plus three. So uh, we have done lot of app launching times, guys. Let's launch a couple of the games here, then we will resume and try to see here. So we're going to launch Temple N two. So I know here uh, expected uh, one plus three should have been. Plus it got more higher power. So we launch Temple Run two guys here. So launching Temple Run two in three, two, one. So Nexus six is slightly behind, not much, but yeah, it does fine here. Still, it has a great, uh, you know, guys, there's a hardware power. Launch another game here, Asphalt Eight. So one of the heaviest uh, SG game here. So launching Asphalt Eight in three. Two, one. I'm just going to kick the start race here together, and let's see which one loads faster. Three, two, one. So Nexus Six guys is at least five seconds behind. But so that you can decide whether you really five seconds is it matters to you a lot or not. So then maybe you can jump to one plus or Kieran. So we'll do now uh, some app zooming here and see which uh, how whether how the device perform in terms of zooming and loading stuff. So you can see here many we have launched a lot of apps here. So we'll start with the first one. Not all apps. We'll try a couple of apps here which takes internet data and all. So let's resume. So resuming Twitter in three, two, one. So it is pretty faster. It takes a bit of time here, and uh, we'll go to YouTube. So resuming YouTube in three, two, one. One plus three is faster. That's why obvious this thing happens here. I'm just going to play a video here. We'll see which um, loads video better. This is my channel, guys. In case you have missed to subscribe, so don't forget to subscribe here. Also. Just want to show you guys here some slow motion video just I uploaded uh, yesterday here. So this is the video I'm going to play here. One plus three slow motion video. So playing, starting playing video in three, two, one. So Nexus Six takes time here to load. Takes its own time to load. I will try for one more video and uh, see. So another video I'm just going to show you guys here and uh, all right, guys. Let, let me just play another video here. This is Android and Debris Four complete review. So make sure to watch that. And just upload it four days back. So launching a uh, playing video in three, two, one. So here Nexus is also uh, takes a bit of time here. So anyway, uh, we will assume Nexus six uh, as a one plus C as a winner here. So we'll resume a game here and let's see. So resuming Temple Run two in three two one loads faster. All right, guys. So we'll resume the Asphalt eight and see here. Resuming Asphalt eight in three two one. So pretty much same, just millisecond difference here. So uh, this is how the system performance and multitasking goes on. We'll do a benchmark test result here. So let me just uh, launch here 
the geek benchmark test so starting in three two one So here is our score guys you can see even the nexus 6 score is uh, better than nexus 6p that we all know but uh, uh, this is far away and you can see uh, just more than twice here so let's do a quick uh, this uh, nt2 benchmark test result that was just previous result so when i've shown you guys so nexus 6p has somewhere near to 50,000, and this one has uh, more than 150,000. so a lot of uh, number differences i'm just going to launch test here again one So guys, we got our result here. So you can see here before when we start here, it was one like thirty thousand, and that was seventy thousand. So that scores may vary here, but anyway, uh, with the comparison of the Nexus Six P, uh, it was on third ranking. Now it was on the first. So that happens so because it's not never accurate. So, uh, so we have done most of the tests, guys. I don't want to cover that thing later because already we have very long here. So I'll just uh, one more test here. I will just quickly power the device and see which one just uh, power off first here. So in case here this is still video helps you guys to decide whether you should really buy Nexus 6 or not because these scores and numbers are not very important guys so day to day tasks are much important what you use what you launch what you do resume all things yourself. so these things really uh, matters more these numbers are just for making your mind satisfaction that's it so I'm just going to click on the power off here you can see uh, shirts on pretty fast and uh, turned on very fast here so and also turn off so guys that's it uh so nexus 6 2 is a great device and in terms of display experience one plus three is the latest phone so that obviously you might get some different specs here hopefully this video might help you and in case you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to watch more all the comparison cameras apps and everything else so this all behind the scene guys we'll talk to you very soon have a nice day ahead